hi, it's me, it's your friend Sarah. So does anyone else feel like they're excited about like a job that they didn't interview for or that they don't have or that they're excited to go on a date that they don't have? It might just feel like something's coming that you don't know what it is. That, and hi, I'm your alien friend, Sarah, your fairy godmother, if you will, I'm a channel. And so I'm here to offer you some validation and offer some messages for you that this week, you know, we don't have any big astrological changeovers that I'm following. Next week, we've got a bucket load. So definitely if you're watching this on Instagram, go check out my YouTube, I have longer range videos on that. But this week, I want you to stay with that excitement, stay in that energy. You know, like the title of this video states, it's like the deep breath before the plunge that we're going under, the deep moment before we have this massive change. And you know, I've said this before to a lot of my, you know, friends or, you know, old colleagues that, you know, wore leadership hats because as leaders of the new world, we know that at the end, there's boredom. We know at the end, there's, you know, time freedom and financial freedom and all of these things. But in the middle, there's this excitement. There's, I got two phones. I got so much to do. I got people that need me. I have so many subs. I have so many this. I have so much to do. And so if you're feeling bored now, loop that into the future. Loop that connection to your future self. And definitely go check out my practical manifestation technique. I feel like some of you could benefit from that. But right now, we know that everything goes through ups and downs. We know that it's not noon all day. We know that it's not winter time all year long. So if you're feeling this excitement, be in that. Really, and only entertain thoughts, feelings, actions, and intentions of your present self and your future self. The past is the past, and we really kind of have to let that go a little bit more efficiently right now. I'll just say that I have many clients that have therapists, that have numerous different um, people that uh, that entertain more modalities. You know, some people have you know physical therapy that you know we do energy work, and then that they work with a physical therapist to kind of get through that. Or you know we do the energy work and we channel, and then with their therapist they unpack a little bit more of the psychological components. So just know that it takes a village. Um, I'm also taking on new clients right now. So if you're interested in a free 15 minute consultation, please reach out directly. But what did I write down? I put it in the description this is the only way to birth it. Keep daydreaming or dreaming it into existence. Keep that delusion. And that's, you know, manifestation 101. And we hear that from every person right before they popped or made it or their, you know, big long range manifestations came through. They were like, what's even the point? What's even the point? You know, I myself, I'll speak for my statements, something really big that I had been looking forward to and thought was gonna come true for like nine straight months, didn't happen. And so I like went into a dark night of the soul. I just was like, is my intuition wrong? Why am I even here? Is anyone even listening to me? What's the freaking point? But now I know that everything is on purpose. What is meant for me is only meant for me and cannot be taken from me. So I just stay in my lane and I just stay at my pace and I answer to my guidance team, the God of my understanding, my higher self and my future self without question anymore, without question. And so I was checking in with one of my guides as well as it's, it's kind of quantum, but it's like one of my guides, but it's also a, just a fractal of me from another dimension. So it's like one that's this actual entity that is a guide that is not me, but like a lot of people say like, I mean, it's the egg theory, so it is me. But in this current conundrum of a time and space called June 2024, it is still an outside version of an entity, like a, like a separate consciousness, and then another multidimensional consciousness with me. And they were chit-chatting before I was getting ready for this video. And a lot of it was about, you know, you might be feeling some physical stuff right now. You might be feeling some belly grumbling or, you know, some like digestion things that are coming up. You might be feeling headaches. You might be feeling dizzy, confused. It's like, even on Saturday night, there was a few moments with one of the hostesses that she came up and said things to me. I was like, what does, what does that mean? Is that, what is, what? What does being cut mean? What does that mean? I mean, like, if you work in service, do you remember? Like, 
because these new things, you know, starting at the Cancer Solstice, they're going to come in hot. They're going to hit hard. You know, Jupiter is scooting. I have a whole long range video on that on my public YouTube channel. Definitely go check that out. And it's an exciting time to be alive. This is the only way to create right now. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So I was really excited and you know I shared vulnerably about my complete sobriety that I've been feeling. Yesterday was 5 weeks of that and you know I might do a whole video on that because I never want to say like this is the way, you know like if there's a nice scoop of can of butter I might take it later on. Like I'm not going to say that this is the only way to exist. But what you'll find now, and I think that this has a lot to do with my guides about that this has a lot to do with like what you're going to experience physically is that things that used to resonate or things that like maybe you were just like, like myself, I had the tolerance of an Irish dock worker with everything. Things are going to hit hard now. So, you know, you used to be a casual drinker and you wake up after a drink or two and it's like absolutely like a nightmare of a headache you know food that you used to really eat like you went to mickey d's and you were like oh this was fine and now you're like i actually haven't pooped in three days like so it's things are just going to hit hard because sometimes if you're not answering the messages the dreams the more spiritual side of things the the downloads then they manifest as physical issues they manifest as physical ailments until you learn that lesson Pain is an incredible teacher. But some if you're not listening to your grandma and your dreams saying like maybe cut back a little bit, then it's going to hit harder in the physical until you learn the lesson. I think that's what I got for you for this Monday. Please reach out directly and ask any questions. Comment below if there are any questions for me, any questions for the guides. I'm putting all of my full moon and new moon workshops out complimentary on YouTube. So please, if there is something that you'd like me to ask my guides in the channel message for this full moon in Capricorn, I already had one beautiful subscriber ask a question. And so I'll be integrating that into that channel message. So please, how can I best support you? What questions do you have for me? And share with the group what you're going through as well. It's a really cool time to be alive. Ciao, ciao.